cast the bozo out, land in the water, let him sink towards the bottom. And the main object is to try and work it all the way from the bottom up through the water column all the way to the boat. Double check our drag is right. And bozos are very easy to use because the, the way the tails are designed, they work really well. Basically, all you need to do is just lift the rod up, drop it down, lift it up, pick up the slack, lift up, pick up the slack, and twitch it a couple of times. And I'll flick a bozo swimming mullet out. And after half a dozen twitches, it just absolutely got nailed. What I believe is a, a nice cove. We've got 50 pound braid with 80 pound leader. Really leaning into this fish, trying to get him up. Sorry, mate. I had Phil come in yesterday to the tackle shop and said, here, have a try of these couple of lures. And uh, it's not one of those videos that they push you against. They tell you what to say and what to do. He's actually just going for a little bit of a run. Sorry, Frankie. He nailed it about. He nailed it about 15 metres off the bottom. Just using his weight to his advantage. This is not one of those rehearsed things that people set you up. And say, tell you what to say and what to do. I was just given some of these lures by Phil. And said, go and try them and tell me what you think. And second cast. And we're on straight away. Yahoo! Yeah. <laughs> Making you work a bit, mate. Yeah, he's putting up a bit of a fight. A bit of a tussle. Right, no, Frankie, throw that other rod over again with the pillies. Raf's going to come over this way a bit. Whack one. Just slide him up that next holder, mate. Yep. Is this your first one on a plastic, mate? Yeah, this is the first one on a plastic. Beautiful. Yeah, second cast. Like I said, half a dozen twitches off the bottom was probably about uh, 10 metres off the bottom or something like that. And he absolutely inhaled it. Doesn't get any better than that. Matey, what a way to start the morning. Yeah. Still going to get to work after this. And uh, what a way to start the morning. Behind the surface. How do you zoom in, Rat? Right? That uh, top one? Yeah, oh, yeah. It's top. There you go. Yahoo! Phil, the guy who designed these lures, is a fisherman himself, and he's built these lures built by fishermen for fishermen. On it. Nice fish. So much like a shark. Yeah, whack him out there, Frankie. Free spooling. You all right? No, no. Right. Whack him in, mate. We might as well keep fishing while we're here. Yeah, why not? Get double headers. That's the game. <laughs> Raffle. <laughs> Raffle stay out of your road. Yeah. Just yeah, take him up that next holder up again, mate, if you want to. Short sharp pumps we can actually lift him up off the bottom.
Give us a yell when you want the gaff, mate. Yeah, he's just up on the surface there. As you can see, he's actually got the plastic in the corner of his mouth. Nice fish, that one. Yeah. Yeah. He's 25 pounder. Yeah. Need the gaff actually. Yeah, we'll give him a bit of 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 a bit Okay, and we gaff it. Bring the bugger on board. <laughs> and then we have him. He's actually caught on the bozo. Should be about 30 pound. He's a good fish on a soft plastic. Quite well. Magnificent rat. Thanks, mate.